So tonight is Friday night, date night. I'm gonna call this one, no, I don't know what I'm gonna call this one. I was kinda gonna go with the pink theme, like pretty and pink tonight. So if I really had like a real date, and, 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 and don't read into this, you know, this is just fun. Um, I would do like pink, like, you know, pink, pink for the guy. I'd wear my little pink thing. See, and I got my pink candle going too. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But um, I wanted to I turn it down because I always, I love music. Like this is what I do on Friday night. I turn on the music and I cook and I just do fun stuff in the apartment. And look, he's already, <laughs> he's got the rug all, look at that. What are you doing for Friday night, huh? You are my, you're the date. You are actually the date. Look at him, he's like, what do you want to go over here? Because one of the things I really want to do for date night, well tonight, oh, I want to tell you, um, we're painting, okay, we're gonna be painting, because um, I love to paint, but, um, and I'm also making egg rolls tonight. Oh, I'm so hungry. I gotta quit talking and make the egg rolls, but I'll set the camera up over there and we'll make, we'll make egg rolls together. But, for, but, but before we get started, I really wanted to do this first. Okay, hang on. I wanted to read God's Word. And tonight, this is really fitting. Uh, I don't know how many of you know, but um, you kind of see me walking. You know, tonight is kind of like I'm a little, a little bit bent over. Uh, I've been doing videos. It looks like I'm just really back on my feet, and I'm happy. I'm filled with joy, and I am, I am. Uh, but uh, behind the scenes, when the camera is off, I have really been struggling with a lot of pain, a lot of debilitation. Now the Lord healed me so that I could stand, and He gave that back to me. But He also said to me. I'm not healing you all the way right now. We have work. We have work. And I really want to give a testimony about all that, but I'm not going to do that tonight. Uh, but um, because uh, I've been so disabled for so long, and even though I am healing, um, and, and like today was a really great day, uh, the hospital couldn't keep me. Uh, they, um, human resources contacted me and my family leave ran out. They gave me a two week grace period, which you know, it, that ran out, and the doctor agreed that I'm in too much of a fragile state to be able to handle patients and work 12-hour shifts, so they had to let me go. I've been at the hospital for four years, and they have become my family. But you know, my boss, um, actually I saw her t uh, yesterday, and this is what she told me when I was in her office. She says, you know what, Stacy? Um, she says, I've seen the changes in your life, and I, I just knew that the Lord had bigger plans for you. He has something more for you. She says, I knew that. I knew, I knew you weren't going to stay here. You forward. So she even knew that. And then I started talking about what was going on. And you know, the Holy Spirit just starts coming out. And she's like, see there. She says, look at you. Look at you when you talk about the Lord. She says, it's all over you. You're filled with the, it's like, you know, yeah, I'm filled with the Holy Spirit. So um, it's, it's not a sad thing that I lost my job. Uh, I really trust the Lord, like Paul did, that he, um, that he will be my resource. So tonight it's very fitting that I read this scripture. And then we're going to get going on the Friday night date night. All right, here we go. Okay, so this is my scripture for tonight. It is God your God will restore everything you lost. He'll have compassion on you. He'll come back and pick up the pieces from all the places where you were scattered. Listen to that. No matter how far away you end up, God, your God will get you out of there and bring you back to the land your ancestors once possessed. It will be yours again. He will give you a good life and make you more numerous than your ancestors. God, your God, will cut away the thick calluses on your heart and your children's hearts, freeing you to love God, your God, with all your whole heart and soul. And live, really live. I mean, listen to this. God, your God, will put all these curses on your enemies who hated you and were out to get you. And you will make a new start listening obediently to God, keeping all his commandments that I am commanding you. God, your God, will outdo himself in making things go well for you. 
And, and then it just it just goes on and on and on and on and on and on. But God, you're God. So this, my friends, is not just for me, but I know there's people listening tonight that this is this is for you. This is for you. God, you're God. Don't ever feel like God is not there. But you also have to remember, remember what that said. God, you're God. You know, he can do all these things. He can cut away the calluses. He can bring you back to a place where you're restored. But you have to be obedient. Don't forget about that. Okay, so into the into the kitchen. Let me see what I got. Okay, so uh, this is what I got. Um, I shredded, there's some shredded cabbage here. Um, and, oh, I got to turn on my, turn that on. And this is what I got. Um egg roll wraps and I am actually going to bake mine so they're super super healthy so I'm going to saute um, my cabbage very lightly um, I just bought um, cabbage that was already shredded but I'm going to um, I got some more I like I like carrots these are shredded but I want to shred them a little bit more um, and you you know what this is you know okay here's just I lost, I cannot believe it, I lost the lid to my ninja. I, lost the, I looked everywhere. And in fact, tonight I was going to wear my blue, my blue wrap. Go on, go on. Well, this has been bugging me all week. I have not been able to shred anything. And you know what? I noticed this. Look at that. Now it's cracked. It's cracked. So, um, uh, and I love my little ninja. You know, this thing is too big, but at least I have this big one. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take, ooh, maybe that much. There we go. This thing has seen its day. Oh, my. I have had this, I don't know, for how many years. I love this thing. And there. That's a lighter. See? It, 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 it shreds it just the right amount. Okay. Then we're going to put this over here. Yeah. See, I could do like a cooking show. You know, I am going to do more recipes. But okay, so let's set you down. When I get, I'm going to fry this. I'm going to saute this up. Okay. I think you can see me. All right. Uh, so, you know, part of, part of start. Oh, I got to get some music. Hang on, hang on. I got to get some music. I hate, I hate it when there is no music. It's Okay, I'm just going to bring you over here. I We're going to play classic music tonight. I know. I like all types of music. You know, um usually I have like 80s or something in the background, but it's like lately I really been filling myself with really great um classic music. And this Vivaldi is my favorite. I'm gonna be playing this over and over tonight. You might get you might get tired of it, but this is good stuff. I probably won't be able to post this because you know YouTube will say, oh, oh, you're using our music. Can't have that in the video. Alright, uh oh, 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 that's getting too hot. Alright, let's put this over here. I get distracted. Oh, that's too loud. Good though. Okay, that's better. Wait, Mario. Okay, back to the pan. Back to the pan. Okay, here we go. So I don't know if any of you. I am. I am actually studying the um, Exodus. Um. And I don't know if you've. Oh, that still is really loud, isn't it? Okay, hang on. Get this in the pan. Oh, this is great. I wish you could see this. Look at how beautiful that looks. Okay. Uh, I am, while well, we're mixing this up, I am studying Exodus. And I don't know if any of you have got, read Exodus, but I've gotten to the place where it talks about the tabernacle. And how it was built, and all the cubics, and the and the acacia wood, acacia wood, and the gold, and and the and the veil, and the, and everything in there is like it's boring, right? It's boring. So I'm reading, I'm like, and 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 this my best friend, one of my is a teacher. She 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 has a really she has many gifts, like both of my friends do. But uh, she is going to teach me, right? 
God has kind of called her, and I had, like, had told me too that um, Exodus, like 23 and 24 and 25, and I'm like, like, this is too much for me. I can't, I can't, I can't do it. It's so boring. And um, I asked, asked her if I could just kind of like, like skip over it. <laughs> and she laughed. She's like, no, you can't skip over. You can't skip over God's word. Every word in the Bible um, it was put there by God. You can't, you can't skip over. And I'm like, but this is like building instructions. Do I really need building instructions? She's like, yeah, you really need building instructions. So to make a long story short, I started watching um, this YouTube video from Calvary Chapel, I think in, I don't know what state, maybe Florida. And it was a pastor who was, was going through uh, Exodus 25. Holy moly, my socks have been blown off about the stuff that I'm learning. Um, everything in the tabernacle points to Jesus Christ. It's just unbelievable. Unbelievable. So um, that's what I've been doing with my time. And what I wanted to say is that um, there is a temple now that is being built, I believe in, I think in Jerusalem. And when the, the temple actually is supposed to um, th this is Jesus' temple. This is where he's supposed to reign. This is supposed to where he's supposed to come back. And the, and the Jewish people are building it. And I don't even think they understand that, that the building of that temple is really representing Jesus is coming back. He's coming back. He's coming back. Okay, I got the pan over here. So, And look, I got my, I got my wraps. Uh, I got to remember how to do this. I haven't done this for a while. I used to... Um, do this a lot on the homestead. I would make uh, egg rolls all the time. That was kind of like a staple. You know, um, here's some things that maybe some of you people are curious about. Uh, and I know I'm going to talk about the divorce. I haven't talked about the divorce for a long time. Trust me, my personal life, um, I hardly ever talk about it. But. Uh, You know, people do wonder, and they do ask, you know, do I miss the homestead? Uh, do I think about it ever? And the answer is no. <laughs> the answer is no. Uh, I don't think about it. Uh, you know, I, but it, it was a process. And I'm sure many of you have gone through divorce. Uh, you do do a lot of looking back, especially in the beginning. And that's really natural. It's so natural because that's what I did. I looked back, I looked back, I looked back, and I, and I kept looking back. And it was enslaving me. It was keeping me. It was keeping me back on the, on the homestead. And that's not where the Lord wanted me to be. And it really was God who um, took me away from that, who, who made me see that you, you can't keep doing that. You can't keep doing that. Okay, so as I'm, I'm, I'm talking, this is going to be a long vlog because I want to paint too tonight. I don't know if I'm going to get to painting. Ooh, this is what happens. Like if you were, like if, if like this was like a real date, this would be like, I wouldn't talk about myself. That's one thing, that's one thing I would not do. And, and I'm, 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 why am I using this monster pan? I got this monster pan, I only have a couple egg rolls. See, see, starry, Stacy. We don't even know what to call you anymore. My girlfriend had a birthday. And I sent her a surprise um, dinner or lunch. Lunch. It was a lunch. There's this really cool place in uh, Tennessee. She lives in Tennessee. Awesome place called I don't know something cafe. And and they, the food that they had. Holy moly! Holy moly! It was like southern food, big style, big style. I loved it. I loved it. So I was so excited about buying buying her lunch and surprising her. And and they said, like the delivery said, well, who should we say it's delivered from? And I said, uh, Starry Stacy. And so when she when she opened the door, she said she wasn't even gonna come to the door because she's like somebody knocking and and my husband's not home and I don't want to you know. And then she saw this younger guy out there with a bag with a bag, and then she's like, oh, this is really weird. So she did open it, and he was the deliver, delivery boy. And she's he's like, this is lunch, and she's like, really? And she's like, from who? And he said. Oh, well, hang on, hang on, hang on. He's like, uh, Starry Stacy. And he said something like, yeah, this is like, like cool. Look at this. You got, yeah, he was cool. But anyway, oh, look at Mario. He's so funny. He's got a, he's got a, oh, now he stops. 
See, he always knows when I'm talking about him. He always knows. Okay, so I gotta get back to the egg rolls. Are you having fun yet? This is what we do on Friday night. We're making egg rolls and we're talking about stuff, right? This is this is this is this is Friday night, right? Um, I don't think we're gonna get to the painting tonight, but you know what? It's okay. I'm gonna show you what I got done so far. Okay, this is what I got done so far. Okay, and there's gonna be a lighthouse here. This is the first time I've ever done anything like with lightning and blue skies and water. Water was a challenge and I'm still working on the water, but um, I'm having fun. And uh, praise the Lord, the last three days I've been able to sit in this chair for more than an hour, well, more than an hour, like a couple hours. It's all good, right, Mario? Right, what do you think there, Mario? Yeah, oh, and I should show you. I got a couple really awesome things. Um, Oh, and I'm going to have a video on, on canning um, that fish. Be watching for it. Look at what I just got in the mail. A new apron. Look at that. Isn't that cute? I wish I could make that into a dress. Wonderful woman who lives in Bruce, Wisconsin. Hi. Bruce, Wisconsin. There's nothing in Bruce, Wisconsin. I know because I used to live in Wisconsin and I used to go, my, my ex was from that area and um, she, she sold that for me. She's just awesome. And then I got a new cutting board. All the people in Georgia, they're so awesome. They love me. They love me in Georgia. Georgia is like, like, like Starryville. I don't know what it is, but my sister lives in Georgia and my, my, my best friend lives in Georgia. My other friend lives in Tennessee. What do you think about that? And Mario got some treats. Mario always needs treats, don't you? You always need treats because you, okay. All right, well, I'm gonna put the stuff in the oven and you know what, I think we're gonna be at the end of the vlog. Do we need to talk anymore? You guys could probably stay up all night and we could like chat. But that's, that's Friday night. That's Friday night. Nothing else is going on, really. Um, oh, let's go over here and see what I got. So, oh, I gotta show you one more thing. So you see this? These, my girlfriend, now, now they look like, oh, they look like all oh, the kids drew them. But my girlfriend sent me a Pinterest photo and she says, I really want you to do, if you can, um, a painting, and I'm gonna I'm gonna show you on my phone the painting. Hang on. Oh, and and here's another thing. I was just going through my text. Um, I've been really praying about an an RV. Um, I really feel that the Lord is leading me to go to go minister. Um, and I've always, you know, I just I just. You know, not that I would leave here, I'd, I'd still, but you know, I, I'd be leaving for a little bit and, and instead of like living in my car, um, and, uh, yeah, looking for an RV instead. So um, I found an RV, right? I found an RV and get this, it was, um, it was um, this RV here. Look at that, can you see that? And they only wanted um, $1,500, right? Look at that. And so I said, um, I, I, I wrote to the person and, um, and they wrote back, they said they're going away in the army and they need to sell, sell it in 10 days and it's very clean and they only want $1,500 for it because it belonged to their uncle and it's in Utah and they just want to get rid of it. And um, luckily I sent it to my girlfriend and um, she looked it over and this is, what did she write here? Um, I told her all about it and she's like, it's a scam. <laughs> I'm never gonna get an RV. <laughs> All right, but anyway, I gotta show you the picture. Hang on before we go. Okay, I found it. That's what she wanted, okay? So that's why it looks the way it does. See? See? And then there's going to be a writing on it. I'm not going to do the writing myself. I'm still trying to figure out how to do the writing. But, see? And you know what? So many people have been asking me about my paintings. And uh, since I am jobless, I think the Lord um, wouldn't mind me doing paintings uh, for a donation. Does that sound right? 
you know, um, I really do have to look at how I'm going to earn some um, extra money. And uh, some of my friends have said I should sell my photography because I do photography. And they also said, your paintings, your paintings, your paintings, your paintings. You're gifted. I don't think I'm gifted. Uh, but I would, I would paint what you like if you see something um, and I would just ask for a donation. What I would do is ask for you to buy the um, a canvas because canvas is a really expensive, at least for me, to keep buying and then you would donate whatever you think that that picture is worth. So there you go. You could you could do pictures like that, you could do pictures like that, you could do like that. See, 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 see? And look at how I'm sitting down. This is wonderful. I haven't been able to do this for a while. Okay, this is the end of the vlog Friday night. Friday night. Oh, and here, let's let's end with some Vivaldi. Here, I'm going to turn it up. I love I love these ladies how they This this is the uh, this is this is the part I like. Like this. I still still like the 80s music, but this ain't bad. <laughs> All right, my friends, God bless. I'm so blessed to have you come along and watch my vlogs. I'm gonna continue the vlogs. I'm gonna keep it real. This is just unscripted life as it is. Oh, I'm ending on a good note. I love it. Oh, I hope YouTube doesn't like say I can't can't play this. I hate YouTube. I hate Google. I hate them. But. We're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna just keep posting despite them, right? All right. God bless you. Have a great Friday night. I love you guys. Come back uh, for another Friday night. 